step into the world of creativity and imagination as we proudly present an exhibition before all of you for the year 2023 to 2024. Myself, Ms. Rashmi Anandasai from Our Lady of Grace High School, Bicholim, is very excited and overjoyed to welcome you all for an exhibition titled Beyond Boundaries, a multidisciplinary exhibition showcasing the vibrant works of talented artists in various faculties of our school, Our Lady of Grace High School, Bicholim. In one corner, you can see the importance of literature in Konkani, Marathi, Urdu. And in another corner, the corner, you can see about Hindi, the different games displayed over there. One side, you can see West out of base, your colorful rangolis, the different arts which have different, different meanings, the importance of millets. Last year only, the International Year of Millets was held, as you all know. After that, you can see about mathematics. Here it is written, millets are so yummy, so healthy, just like a beautiful fruit or ice cream maybe. And after that, we come to our mathematics session. Under here, you can see different mathematicians who really contributed towards our favorite subjects, mathematics. Join us as we explore the diversity in all the different fields of our life. Innovative techniques which will inspire the audience from all the different ages. And here 
I welcome you all in this expressive journey of artistry and expression. Thank you all and maybe you enjoy and learn so many things from my exhibition. Thank you. Father Antonio Pereira, Mozo Jan Shirile, Salt Set, Hangazalo, Lan Panasan, Maka Kukni Pasiche, Kuba Vodasle, Goichi, Ani Goy Karachi, Putarka Zauchi Kati, Avin Romi, Tashis Deonagri, Dipi, Zaiti Likan Kela, Duchalicha, Our Lady of Grace, Shareche, Havidus Bunyad Gaili, Hindu, Christau, Muslim, Dharmache Sabha Lokani, Ekta Yon, Eka Pakya Puna, Shikshe, Homuzu Diasas, Deo Barekuru, Majana, Vaman Raguna, Shenever De, Malavlika, Uluk Maka, Shenevai Bab, Molakta, Madu Jalma, Duta Langadal, Maka, Kokni Bazito, Mapurish Manta, Maka Kokni Bas, who is a release I shindi, Kokni Basiti, Udarga Zapakati, Ave Kokni Bashe. खुबशो पुस्तक आप बरे दे बरे नारियल का पेड़ सबसे उपयोगी पेड़ों में से एक है हिंदू धर्म में नारियल को बहुत शुभ माना जाता है नारियल को श्रीफल भी कहते हैं मंदिरों और पूजा पाठ में इसका उपयोग किया जाता है हरे नारियल का पानी बहुत ही मीठा और पौष्टिक होता है इसका सेवन करने से अनेक बीमारियों से बचा जा सकता है नारियल में प्रोटीन विटामिन मैग्नीशियम पोटेशियम कैल्शियम जैसे पोषक तत्व पाए जाते हैं सूखे नारियल से तेल बनाया जाता है जो हमारे बालों और त्वचा के लिए बहुत उपयोगी होता है सूखा नारियल खाने से पाचन तंत्र मजबूत होता है और खून की कमी दूर होती है नारियल के पेड़ से झोपड़ी दरी रस्सी चटाई टोकरी ब्रश पंखे पायदान आदि अनेक प्रकार की वस्तुएं बनाई जाती हैं नारियल के छिलके से कई खिलौने तथा सजावट की वस्तुएं बनाई जाती हैं नारियल से अनेक अनेक प्रकार की मिठाइयां लड्डू चटनी आदि बनाई जाती हैं इसलिए नारियल के पेड़ को कल्पवृक्ष कहा जाता है धन्यवाद काइंडली हैव अ लुक ऑन सम ऑफ द रेसिपीज ऑफ द ऑफ माउथ वाटरिंग ऑफ मिलेट्स हियर इज अ पिक्टोरियल फॉर्म हाइलाइटिंग द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मिलेट्स This is a mathematical project dealing with many shapes and volumes. Here we have cube board and cube. This shows many volumes, total surface area and lateral surface area. We came we come across many types of formulas in our day to day life. Thank you. There are many famous temples in Goa. Here are some of the temples of Goa. This is Sri Shantadurga temple that is that is located in Bicholi. This is This is the Tamri Sulla Temple, which is lo which is located in Fonda Taluka, and this is the Mangeshi Temple, which is also located in Fonda Taluka. Thank you. Namaste. आप सभी कभी ना कभी तो मेले में गए होंगे. आपने इस सर के छक्के झोला तो देखा ही होगा. इस शिल्प पर आज शब्द के बीच सवार है, जैसे सर्वनाम विशेषण के क्रिया पर. और इस पर आप देख भी सकते हैं कि यहाँ पे कुछ कुछ के हुए हैं. धन्यवाद नमस्ते हमारे हिंदी के पाठ्य पुस्तक में एक एक पाठ है जिसका नाम है आओ बोंडला चले आपका स्वागत है बोंडला में धन्यवाद Saish, and we are from Standard 7C, and we are saying few words on traditional occupation of Goa. 
ट्रेडिशनल ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ गोवा नेमली फार्मिंग फिशिंग बेकरी पोट्री बाबा एंड सो ऑन इन एशियन टाइम फार्मिंग वॉज कैरीड ऑन लार्ज स्केल इन गोवा यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट टूल्स यूज बाय द पीपल इन अर्ली डेज एंड एट प्रेजेंट आर बीन डिस्प्लेड फिशिंग वॉज द मेन ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ द पीपल लिविंग इन कोस्टल विलेजेस एज वी ऑल नो द स्टेपल फूड ऑफ गोवा इज राइस एंड फिश करी टॉडी टेपर टॉडी टेपर इन गोवा इज नोन एज रेन देन टॉडी टेपर क्लाइम ट्री थ्राइज इन अ डे द रूटीन ऑफ कलेक्टिंग सोर बींग वेरी अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इज अगेन कलेक्टेड इन द इवनिंग द तोड़ी इज इन हाई डिमांड ड्यूरिंग फेस्टिव ओकेशन पीपल मेक द सनास जेगरी विनेगर फैनी आउट ऑफ सर बेकर इज कॉल्ड पदेर इन गोवा ही इज समन हू अवेट्स एवरी डे फॉर इट डिलिशियस एंड स्टीमिंग ब्रेड पदेर हैव अ वेराइटी ऑफ ब्रेड टू ऑफर द सॉफ्ट रेगुलर पाव द राउंड क्रिप्स ब्रेड विथ अ स्लाइट लेयर ऑफ वीट हस्क इज पोए क्रंची बैंगल्स कॉल काकनास एंड स्टीमिंग ब्रेड और कतरी हाँचो पाव पोट्री पोट्री इज वन ऑफ गोवा ओल्डस क्राफ्ट गोवन पोटर्स हैव बीन नो टू प्रोवाइड टेम्पल्स विथ क्ले लेंथ एंड कुकिंग वेसल थैंक यू A very good morning. I am Shreya from Standard 9, and welcome you to the history section, the monuments of Goa, depicting the beauty of Goa's architecture. To begin with, we have here Shri Shanta Durga Temple, uh, Bicholim. This temple was built in the year 1905. The resident, the resident celebrates Nova Somar in the honor of Deity Shri Shanta Durga. Every Monday, there is a procession of the Deity Shri Shanta Durga. Then we come on to the next temple, that is the Tamri Surla Temple. It is the oldest temple of Goa. It was built during the 12th century, in the time of the Kadamba by the Yadava dynasty. The unique feature of this Tamri Surla Temple is that it was built with the black basalt stone. Then we come on to the Mangeshi Temple. The 450 years old Mangeshi Temple is well known across all over India. This temple is located in the Mangeshi village in the Ponda Taluka. It has a seven-story dipastham and also a nandi bull. Then we have the Martyrs Memorial located at Azad Maidan. It is a homage to all the soldiers. Then we come on to the Safa Masjid. It was built by Ibrahim Adil Shah in the year 1560. It is one of the oldest mosque of Goa. Then we come on to the Basilica of Bom Jesus Old Goa. Um, it is one of the seven wonders of the Portuguese origin in the world. It was built in the year 1594 and completed in the year 1605. Then we come on to the Jama Masjid. It is one of the famous masjid of Goa. people and our project is about properties of geometrical shapes this is a right triangle 
द एंगल इज ऑलवेज नाइन्टी डिग्री द अपोजिट साइड टू नाइन्टी डिग्री इज द हाइपोटेनस विच इज द लॉन्गेस्ट साइड एंड द अदर टू साइड टू नाइन्टी डिग्री इज कॉल्ड द पेंटिकुलर एंड द बेस थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज शावेज आई एम फ्रॉम अवर लेडी ऑफ रिगेडेज हाई स्कूल आर प्रोजेक्ट इज बेस्ड अपॉन रोटेशनल सिमिट्री वेन अ जोमेट्रिकल शेप टर्न अराउंड विद अ फिक्स एक्सिस एंड द शेप इज आइडेंटिकल टू द ओरिजन इट इज नोन टू एग्जिबिट रोटेशनल सिमिट्री ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रेडिकल सिमिट्री ही आर फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ शेप शोइंग रोटेशनल सिमिट्री हेक्सागॉन ऑर्डर सिक्स डिग्री सिक्सटी रेक्टेंगल ऑर्डर टू डिग्री वन एटी सर्कल ऑर्डर इन्फानाइट डिग्री थ्री सिक्सटी स्क्वेर ऑर्डर फोर डिग्री सिक्सटी एंड हियर आर सम ऑफ द फिगर्स शोइंग यूज इन आर डेली लाइफ एक्सागॉन सॉकर बॉल रेक्टेंगल ब्लेड्स ऑफ अ सीलिंग फैन सर्कल टायर्स ऑफ बाइसिकल स्क्वेर डाइस इक्विलेटर ट्राइंगल विंड बिल थैंक यू एज सर माइ नेम इज आफिफा शेख and this exhibit helps us to study some properties of geographical shapes geometrical shapes this is an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle two side is always congruent to each other and the third side which is unequal to the isosceles triangle is called the base of the isosceles triangle and the other sides of the isosceles triangle which is unequal which is equal to each other thank you myself adam the topic of my maths project is properties of circles Now in this first circles angles subtended by equal chords are equal for example ab is equal to cd therefore angle aob is equal to angle cod in this next circle equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center of a circle for example op is equal to oq In this last circle, perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord. For example, OA perpendicular to PQ. Therefore, PA is equal to AQ. Thank you and have a nice day. My project is based on application of trigonometry. As we have learned the values of sine, cosine, tan, cot, and sec, let us focus on the value of tan. Tan is calculated as opposite side upon the adjacent side. The value of tan zero degree is zero. The value of tan thirty degree is one upon root three. Tan forty five degree is one. Tan sixty degree is root three, and tan ninety degree is not yet defined. In this project we'll use the value of 10 to find the unknown height of the pole tree and the building this is the protector which we'll use to measure the angles we'll adjust it in such a way that this light fall on the tip of the pole and it forms 60 degree angle so that we can use the value of 1060 to find the unknown height The value of 1060 degree is root 3. We know the base it is 23 cm. After calculating we get the unknown height as 39 cm. Similarly with the tree will do. Here it forms 30 degree angle. So we'll use the value of 1030 degree to find the height. The value of 1030 degree is 1 upon root 3. We know the base; it is forty-eight centimeter. After calculating, we get the height as twenty-nine centimeter. Similarly, with the building, we will find the height till this point. Here it forms forty-five degree angle. We know the base; it is thirty-four centimeter. After calculating with the using the value of ten forty-five, we get the height of the building as. 34 degrees and 34 cm trigonometry has a wide range such as measurements of land mass in geography to find the distance of celestial body object as well as in navigation thank you sir for giving me your precious time and listening to this information
sir. My name is Gauss Madin Nadaf. I'm standing from 9th E. My match project is on sector and segment of a circle. Here, what is a sector? Sector is a region between two radii and arc. Here is a major sector. And here is a minor sector. Next we have segment. What is a segment? Segment is a region between two, uh, two arc and chord. Here is a major segment and here is a minor segment. Next we have tangent. What is a tangent? Tangent is a line touching from a circle. And here we have a chord. A, a line segment joining two point lying on the circle. And here we have diameter. Diameter is a longest chord of a circle. And last we have arc. Arc is a piece of a circle. Thank you. Good morning, sir. My name is Priyanshi Nishan and I am studying in Standard 7. My project explains the different parts of a circle. A circle is a shape consisting of all points in a plane that in a plane equidistance from the center. First is circumference. Circumference is the boundary of a circle. Second is radius. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to its circumference. Third is chord. Chord is the line segment whose end points both lie on a circle. And last is diameter. Diameter is the longest chord that passes through the center of the circle. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Myself, Ms. Safa, welcome you to have a glance at our science section Beyond Boundaries on the topic Millets are super food for super health. Millets are the small seeded grasses belonging to the botanical family Poisee. Millets are also known as coarse cereals. The difference between cereals and millets is that cereals are the grasses giving large seeded grains, whereas millets are the small grain grasses. So, the question that often hits our mind is why are millets given international recognition? So, here is my friend Neeti to, uh, to tell you uh, something about millets. Thank you, Riddhi. Millets are often called nutri cereals due to the high content of protein, fiber, micronutrients, and phytochemicals. Here are some examples of millets. Have a look. Thank you. Due to the numerous health benefits of millets, they are called the marvel green of the future. Millets are gluten free. And what is gluten? It is a protein composite found in grains like wheat and barley. And why it is bad for us? Gluten promotes inflammation in the body which could lead to digestive issues, autoimmune diseases, depression and disrupted brain functioning. Millet worry cures depression and lowers blood pressure. Millet bajra good for diabetes and lowers cholesterol and also rich in vitamin A. Millet Kodo excellent for strengthening the nervous system. Millet Jowar reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases and colon cancer. Millet Ragi helps in strengthening and development of the bones. To commemorate the International Year of Millet, a five-day millet food festival was organized in school. Here are the uh, here are the here are the glimpses of the same. Okay. Of, to commemorate the International Year of Millet, a five-day food festival was celebrated uh, was organized in the school. Here are the glimpses of the same. Kindly have a look on some of the millet food items made by students. And these are also available for sale.
route towards a sustainable future, it is important to understand the potential of millets as a valuable food crop. Hence, there is an urgent need to promote the nutritional benefits of millets. Sir, we will be glad if you pose for a photograph and promote the importance of millets. Thank you, sir, for patient listening. We are here to present our work on plastic, a boon or a bane and to also solve problems related to plastic. Plastic is versatile and they can be used to make variety of things. For example, we have made a robot of plastic bottles. Plastic is made up of polymers. Polymers are long chain handed to each other. The advantages of plastics are cheaper, they are cheaper, lightweight, durable and flexible. Now Saraj will tell about the, tell about the types of plastic. There are different types of plastic in the world. The first type of plastic is PET, polyethylene terephthalate. It is the most commonly used plastic. Examples of PET are soda bottles and water bottles. There, the second type of plastic is HDP, high density polyethylene. It is the most versatile plastic. Examples of HDP are buckets and toys. The third type of plastic is PVC. It is used in plumbing pipes and credit cards. The fourth type of plastic is LDP, low density terephthalate. It is the uh, most flexible plastic. Examples of LDP are grocery bags, etc. The fifth type of plastic is PP, polypropylene. It is the it has the most melting point. Examples of PP are uh, plastic tablewares and plas butter tubs. The sixth type of plastic is PS, polyesterately. It is the most environmental harmful plastic. And examples of PS are thermocol, etc. Now here is Chitanya who will tell us more about plastic. Plastic is ubiquitous, cheap and convenient, but come with a hidden cost. They contaminate, contaminate our food and drink and create enduring pollution. Over one lakh animals die due to plastics. So we should use cloth or paper bags while going to the market. Since we are facing a huge plastic problem, we need to find ways to solve this problem. And one such way is the recycling of plastic to make road tar. Recycled plastic is replacing bitumen and reducing constructional cost and producing better quality roads with less maintenance requirement. Shredded plastic waste is scattered onto an aggregate of crushed stones and sand before being heated up to 170 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt the waste. At last, bitumen is added to solidify the mixture and the tar is ready. 
In addition, there are many other ways of reducing the plastic waste, such as Rethink, refuse, reduce the use of plastic mat materials as much as possible. In addition, you can reuse the plastic to make new to make new and better items such as artifacts and plastic materials. I finally end with the statement that the best way to solve the plastic, prob plastic waste problem is to avoid using plastic as much as possible. Thank you. If you are concerned with the idea, you can support us by buying cloth bags rose rupees 50, paper bags rupees 10 and by clicking photo rupees 10. Lady of Grace High School, Bicholim. Uh, this model helps us to study the formulas of areas and perimeters of some 2D shapes. For example, square, uh, where all the sides are equal and taken as A. So the perimeter formula of square is 4 into A. And area is A into A, means side into side. My name is Utkash Ladko Naik. My school name is Our Lady of Various High School. My project is based on area and formulas of different types of quadrilaterals. B of B, for example, top of the table is of rectangle. Similarly, photo frames and uh, doors are of rectangle and square. We have thus formulas of square, side multiplied by side, parallelogram, half multiplied by base multiplied by height, rectangle, length multiplied by breadth, trapezium, height, bracket, breadth, plus a upon 2, kite, half, multi uh, uh, bracket, d1, plus d2. Thank you. My name is Vedan. I am from Our Lady of Grace High School. Uh, my project is uh, a three-dimension shape has three dimensions. Some examples of 3D shapes are a cube. A, cube. a, a real-life example of cube is Rubik cube and die. A real-life example of cuboid is a book and box. A real life example of a cone is carrot and ice cream cone. A cylinder is a gas cylinder and bucket. A triangular uh, prism as, uh, is an example of a triangular prism is an example of tent. Uh, in this uh, uh, project, uh, we are giving information about 3D shapes. Uh, if we remove this um, cone, uh, it gives faces 6, um, edges 0, vertex is uh, uh, 0. Uh, cube has faces 6, edges 12 and vertex is 8. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Sejal Verma. I am from class 9th A. My project is based on angles on parallel lines. When two lines are said to lie parallel, if they are perpendicular, distance is always the same between the two lines. While a transversal in a line which intersect two parallel lines, the properties of angles are, are alternate serial angles are equal. Same side exterior angles are equal to 180 degree. Corresponding angles are equal. Alternate interior angles are equal. Same side interior angles are equal to 180 degree. Thank you. I am Pratiksha Patil from 730. My project is on angle sum property of triangle. The angle sum property of triangle tells us that when we add all the three angles of a triangle, the answer should be 180 degree. Since all the three angles are now in a straight line, their sum becomes 180 degree. Thank you. I am Stuti from class 7D. My project is an algebraic expression. It focuses on the identities of algebraic expression. A plus B, the whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. Second formula, A minus B, the whole square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. Thank you. I am Tanaya Kulkarni from 7D. My project is about exterior angle property of triangles. Exterior angle property states that the major of the exterior angle is equal to sum of the two remote interior angles.
सो दिस हंड्रेड एंड टेन एंड सेवेंटी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज तनवी राणे आई एम फ्रॉम क्लास सेवेंथ बी यू कैन सी दिस प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन दिस आर एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड देर टर्म्स सो वी हैव टू रोल दिस मॉडर्न एंड फाइंड द टर्म्स ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी एक्स माइनस थ्री इज टेन सो दर्म्स आर एक्स एंड नेगेटिव थ्री सो सेकेंड वन इज वन प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वे सो द सेकेंड वन इज वन एक्स एंड एक्स स्क्वे सो दैट्स वाई थर्ड वन इज वाई माइनस वाई स्क्वेर इज दे सो द एग्जाम्पल इज वाई एंड माइनस वाई माइनस वाई स्क्वे सो यू कैन सी द फोर्थ वन सो फोर्थ वन इज वाई फाइव एक्स वाई प्लस लेट इज सो द आंसर इज वाई एक्स फाइव एक्स वाई प्लस लेट इज दे सो Fifth one is two b square minus three a square. So the terms are two b square minus three a square. So the last one is minus a b minus three a square. So the answer is minus a b minus three a square. Thank you. My project is based on additive inverse of a number. The additive inverse of a number is defined as the value in which adding with the original number the result is. In simple words, the additive inverse of a number is also called the opposite of it. For example, the additive inverse of 6 is minus 6 and the additive inverse of minus 10 is 10. Look at the example displayed in the project. The additive inverse of minus five upon nine is five upon nine, and the additive inverse of minus two upon eight is minus two upon eight. Thank you. Good morning. This exhibit is based on multiplicative inverse. That is, one upon four is four upon one. Uh, a, res- a multiplicative inverse is a reciprocal. A reciprocal is one of a pair of numbers that, when multiplied with the another number, gives the number one. One upon four is four upon one, and the answer is one. Nine upon minus five is minus five upon nine, and here the answer is one. Thank you. Good morning. I am Sangesh Madhukar Gaikwad. I am in eighth standard. Uh, this exhibit help to remember cube and cube root up to numbers ten. Uh, one cube is one, and two cube is eight. And we can also learn cube root. Cube root of sixty four is four, and cube root of three hundred and forty three is seven. Thank you. I am Avni. my i am in an eighth standard my exhibit is multiplication calculator it helps me to memorizing times table for example if i want to study seven times table seven through and seventh column gives me 49 Eight times seven gives me fifty-six. Nine times seven gives me sixty-three, and so on. Thank you. I am Asta. Uh, we should be friend with number in order to understand math. Numbers are of various kind. Uh, this exhibit shows us. Uh, sh- uh, this exhibit tell us the numbers. First is prime number. The remaining are non-prime numbers. Second is even numbers, and others are odd numbers. Third is composite and non-composite numbers. Thank you. Very good morning to you. My name is Zareen Sayed, and I am from Our Lady of Grace High School, Standard 8B. So Goa was under Portuguese uh, rule for more than 450 years. So today, as a tribute, we have sketches drawn by Standard 8 of a few freedom fighters. For like, we have uh, Dr. T- uh, Tristan Braganza Cunha known as also Tibi Cunha 
He was the Goan nationalism, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, Batsala Kirtani, who raised the slogan Jai Hind, Sudhatai Joshi, Purushottam Kakorkar, and Mohan Nanare. Thank you. I am Ayushri. Here we have some famous forts of Goa. Here we have the Agwad Fort. It was constructed in the year 1612 in Kandoli by the Portuguese to guard against the Dutch. The fort lighthouse erected in the year 1864 is the oldest of its kind in Asia. Here we have the famous Famagudi Killa of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. It was built in the year 1546 by Adil Shah. This is the Kojuem Fort and this is the Reis Magos Fort. It was built it was built in 1493 by Adil Shah, Shahi Sultan of Birjapur. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Zohid. And my name is Saish. And we are from Standard 7C. And we are saying few words on traditional occupation of Goa. Traditional occupation of Goa, namely farming, fishing, bakery, pottery, barber, toddy tapping, and so on. In ancient time, farming was carried on large scale in Goa. You can see the different tools used by the people in early days and at present are being displayed. Fishing was the main occupation of the people living in coastal villages. As we all know, the staple food of Goa is rice and fish curry. Toddy tapper. Toddy tapper in Goa is known as renden. Toddy tapper climb a tree thrice in a day. The routine of collecting sir being very early in the morning and is again collected in the evening. The toddy is in high demand during festive occasion. People make their sanas, jaggery, vinegar, fanny out of sir. Pekar is called Pader in Goa. He is someone who awaits every day for its delicious and steaming bread. Pader have a variety of bread to offer. The soft regular pav, the round crisp bread with a slight layer of wheat husk is poe. Crunchy bangers called kaknas and scissored bread or katri anso pav. Pottery is one of Goa oldest craft. Goan potters have been known to provide temples with clay lamps and cooking vessels. Thank you. I am part from the class 8A and our project is on the formulas of the lesser measuration. So here we have the best quiz boards. Can you hold because I have to show this one. So here we have, so if this light will indicate that your answer is wrong or correct. So here I have area of trapezoidal. Light is glowing. If I did talk, so it will not glow. This is light that tells that your answer is correct or wrong. Do you want to try? So here we have area of triangle. So this one, this one is correct one. And I shifted on the wrong one that it will not glow. See, this one is correct one. My name is Taslima Sek and I am from Standard 7. My project is on modes of transport. There are four major modes of transport such as roadways, railways, airways and waterways. Roadways are commonly used by people for short distance. Railways carry heavy goods and us over long distance. Airways is the fastest mean of transport in which people can travel from one place to another in shorter period of time. Waterway carry bulky goods and heavy goods over long distances on the seas. Thank you. Myself Shaitali Chari from Standard 8. Today I'm going to tell you more about what is your thermal energy or how does your thermal energy power plant works. Just a few miles below our feet lies enough energy that can meet the whole world's demand. It is called as your thermal energy. Your thermal energy is the heat energy from the Earth's inner core. Your thermal resources are reservoirs of hot water that exist deep inside the Earth's surface. Sometimes this heat energy may surface itself in the form of hot spring. First, the heat, the heat or the water, hot water is stored in the flash tank. From that, the steam is passed to the turbine. That the turbine starts to move. From that, the electricity is generated. Geothermal resources in the form of hot spring can also be used for cooking, heating and bathing also. Thank you. 
Good morning. My name is Priya Ramesh Shapurkar from 6C. We are representing our solar system. Our solar system has one sun, eight planets, satellites, and some other celestial bodies known as astronauts and meteoroids form the solar system. We often call it a solar family with the sun as its head. There are eight, nine planets in the solar system. In the distance from the sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. All the eight planets move around the sun in a fixed path. They are called orbits. Thank you. Good morning, myself, Moina Sheikh from class 8A, and we have made this project. And this project is based on wind energy. And uh, pro uh, this project aims to explore the principles of wind energy and propose a plan to uh, generate electricity. When the windmill moves, the electricity is generated. Thank you. That's all. My name is Rukmini Gaurav Chenwankar from Class Six A, representing our topic planes. Planes are large stretches of flat lands. They are generally not more than 200 meters above the mean sea level. Some planes are extremely level, and others can be slightly rolling. Here, construction of transportation network is comparatively easier. Thank you. My project is based on pollution. Our model shows two types of pollution: air and water. It shows how industries cause air pollution and how the same industries dispose their waste in rivers. Rivers and the same re industries also cause water pollution. My project name is Landforms. The Earth have infinite varieties of landforms such as mountains, plains, plateau, etc. A mountain is a natural evolution of the Earth's surface. A plateau is a flat land. It is a flat top table land stand above the surrounding area. A plains are a large stretch of flat land. A tributary are a small river which is flow into bigger river. A island is a part of land which is surrounded by water. Thank you. Good morning. My project is based on a solar cooker. A solar cooker is a device that uses heat to cook food. We use the aluminium foil. As you all know, aluminium foil sunlight reflects into box. It creates heat into your box. We use the concave mirror. As we all know, mirror reflects in a single focal point. So the concave mirror in the solar cooker to use the uh, observe all the incidents, heat, and reflect a single focal point. Thank you. Uh, my project is based on waterfall. A waterfall is any point in a river or a stream where water flows in a vertical section of a series or a steep drop. Waterfall are generally formed at the upper course of the river. As a result of the erosion, the way we are away earth is the way we are away means. The way we are away means washing away of the earth through the air, water, and wind. So it wash away is the stones and all. Uh, the it erodes soft rock more quicker than the hard rock. This may lead to the creation of the waterfall. As soft rocks are lighter and the hard rocks are hard, that's why it erodes soft rocks more quickly than the hard rock, and it takes a bit time to erode the hard rocks. First, the river flows, then the hard rocks and soft rocks come, and the way it gets settled towards it, and it erodes the soft rocks much quickly than the hard rocks. Good morning, myself, Master Medudagati, from Class Six. Our pro name of the project is Rotation and Revolution of Earth. As everybody knows, the Earth spins. The Earth also spins like this. This motion is called revolution. It takes approximately 365 days to complete one revolution. Is but sometimes it also takes 366 days to complete one revolution. A uh, uh, year with 366 days is called a leap year. 2024 is a leap year because it has 20, 366 days instead of 365. The divide day from night is called circle of illumination. As you see, it is forming over here. Uh, this doesn't go inside with the axis of the earth. Uh, lastly, what well, what do you think would happen if the earth stops spinning? The portion facing the sun would experience constant day and thus bringing 
continuous heat, while the other part will always experience darkness and will be freezing cold. Life would not be possible in such hard conditions. Thank you. My name is Vaishnavi Gavas. And my name is Rudransh Gaukar. And this is our project Volcano. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which lava, volcano ash and gases escape. Beneath a volcano, a liquid magma containing dissolved gases rises through cracks in the earth's crust. As the magma rises, pressure decreases allowing the gases to form bubbles. The main cause for a volcanic eruption is the change in pressure within the volcano forcing the magma to overflow the chamber it is holding. And now we are showing our project volcano. Thank you. A very good morning to one and all. I am here to present to you the five types of drainage pattern. The first one is dendritic pattern. Uh, it is formed on land with flow of river. Dendritic system is formed in V-shaped valleys. It is most common type of pattern and looks similar to the branches of the trees. And the second one is rectangular drainage pattern. It is a drainage pattern marked by right angle bands and functions. The third one is parallel drainage pattern. It develops in regions of steep slopes with some reliefs. The streams are swift and straight due to steep slopes. And the fourth one is trellis drainage pattern. Uh, it is a form where a hard and soft rock exists. Tributaries form in approximately right angles to each other. And the fourth one is radial drainage pattern. Uh, it is mostly formed on hills and the hilly regions of India. Thank you. Good morning. Myself Sanvi from class 7. So here we have the earth, interior of the earth. So here we have the first layer of the earth. It's called crust. It's also known as the lithosphere. Earth crust is very important and very part of the whole interior. It provides us with some natural resources, natural resources called environment, nature. Second, we have mantle. It transfers the heat and materials. Its mantle play a demurring landscape of the whole interior. Third, we have the outer core. Outer core is set on the voluntary convection, achieving materials of the whole interior. It creates the earth as a magnetic field. Last, we have the inner core. It also makes earth as a magnetic field, motions and driving of the seas. So, thank you. Good morning. My name is Avnish Dharma Shredder Baker and my, uh, my model is sea waves. Sea waves are the result of the wind blowing across the surface of the ocean, transferring energy to the water. This can come in various forms like swell waves, rug waves and wind wave. Factors such as wind speed, duration and fetch. This can play a crucial role for crucial role in coastal area, coastal processes, navigation and ocean circulation. Thank you. My name is Sail Kumar. I am from Standard 6B. This project shows us day and night phenomena. Once every 24 hours, Earth rotates on its axis, taking all of us with it. As we move to the side facing the sun, we experience daytime. And the area facing the moon experience nighttime. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning everyone. My name is Hatev from 9C and my topic is river system. Did you know river system is also known as drainage system? It is pattern from when a river, stream or a lake flows in a particular drainage basin. It is influenced by topography of land, whether it is composed of soft or hard rocks. It is also influenced by degree of soil. Source. Source is where the river flows or begins to flow. Meander is the place where the river flows in a curvy, bendy-like path like a snake. Tributary is a smaller river that joins the main river. Confluence is the point where the tributary and the main river joins to form a larger river. Levy is a small land uh, which may be a, a natural or man-made uh, which prevents water from going where we don't want the water to go. River is a large stream with fresh flowing water. 
channel is a relatively less uh, smaller area with a relatively less amount of water estuary uh, is estuary is a place where the uh, fresh water and the sea water meets mouth is a place where the river flows into a uh, larger river lake or the ocean delta is a wetland formed because of this mouth and oxbow lake Oxbow Lake is a very special feature of the rivers because uh, this uh, is a remnant of the curve in the river. Oxbow Lake is formed uh, when the river, uh, when there is nothing in the path of the river, the river continues to bend until it meets at a point uh, with where it can take a shorter path. And this uh, is the uh, this remains as a Oxbow Lake, and hence we call it Oxbow Lake. My name is Alina Khan, and I am from Eighth B. Here I am going to explain. about the biogas biogas is nothing but a natural way of producing electricity and it is also used in cooking purpose actually biogas is a human excreta animal waste etc and it is stored in a long jar for 2 months for fermentation for slurry actually it is a anaerobic microorganism is used in this biogas process and produces methane and carbon dioxide gas biogas is used in cooking heating lighting and agriculture purpose also thank you sir uh, this is the arduino uno robot car with the help of ultrasonic sensor and the bluetooth module so good morning sir uh, the first part here it is known as the motor control driver with the help of this driver uh, we get power to all the four wheels the second part it is known as uh, the arduino you know we have programmed it using this computer so the main function of that part is Uh, for example if an obstacle comes in front of this car this ultrasonic sensor will detect it and stop the car there itself uh, this is uh, this feature is also known as adas in real cars uh, then the second part here is, it is known as the bluetooth control module uh, with the help of that you are able to control uh, this car using your mobile phones uh, and uh, there are three specific functions for this car the one is obstacle uh, avoiding avoidance the second part uh, is the bluetooth control and the third part is the voice control which function would you like to see sir okay sir we'll show you the voice control first we have to give commands to this phone and the car will uh, so, so the first we command will show you this form We have to say that forward, backward, uh, for the car to move. Backward. Uh, sir, you want to see the obstacle avoiding? Yes, uh, we can show. Uh, all the further, we have to do the code in that. obstacles uh, uh someone comes in front it will send a sense and it will go on the free road uh, uh you can you can see that is the ultrasonic sensor uh, which is sensing the obstacles this is a ultrasonic sensor it detects the objects or obstacles in front of it and changes its directions on its own Uh, 
uh, we have done it in one day uh, the wiring work we had done we have distributed the work uh, this is the base uh, uh, that i have done and this wiring and code he had done whole thing i have done yes that code we have done uh, this uh, we have managed in one day only we have also taken some help from uh, our friends and google so we have ordered all these parts online and got some parts from offline stores also and we bought them all together and assembled them uh, we, uh, we have used the apps to control the uh, car uh, like uh, bluetooth control now we have shown you and voice control that obstacle avoiding it is automatically uh, of the code by you no no we did it on our own we did it on own our uh, welcome to our work education stall this all exhibits are made from um, wealth out of waste and uh, like cardboards and all uh, so everything is made by our students yes. thank you and here now about the history section of goa here as you know that goa was under the portuguese rule for nearly 151 years here on one hand we have a tribute to our goan freedom fighters which include Ram Manohar Lohia, Vatsala Kirtani, and other freedom fighters. On one hand, we have monuments of Goa, the beauty of Goan architecture. On another hand, we have traditional occupation, a fabric of Goan culture, wherein you can see about pottery and other projects which are done by our creative students of my school, Our Lady of Grace High School, the Chodim Goa. Hope you all enjoy our exhibition. Thank you. Our uh, welcome to our work education stall. This all exhibits are made from um, wealth out of waste and uh, like cardboards and all. Uh, so everything is made by our students.
everyone. My name is Saicha Naik from Standard 9. I would like to thank everyone who have came here to witness our exhibition. I hope you will all like it just as we enjoy doing it. A big thank you to our headmistress and teachers for giving us a platform to showcase our talents. I would also like to thank my friends who told hard to bring out their talents through these various exhibits. Last but not the least, I would also like to thank Harold for taking our talents a step ahead. Once again, thank you. This is Saicha Naik signing off.